Welcome to Season 3 of The Short Score, the Team Roping Journal's weekly news update show, where you can find the latest on the sports leaders, from the jackpot world of the USTRC and the World Series of Team Roping to the pro rodeo ranks. I'm Chelsea Schaefer. And I'm Caitlin Gustav. And we'll be your hosts. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, everybody. Caitlin and I are here in social distancing together mm-hmm. because that's what we do, everything together. Yeah, pretty um, much. <laughs> <laughs> right now is an interesting time to work from home. How's it been going for you? I'm going crazy. <laughs> I know, me too. <laughs> like, um, it's sad. Yeah. I know we are not... I, the There are people with much more real struggles than we're going through right now. My greatest struggle um, with social distancing and working from home is that my three-and-a-half-year-old daughter, I love her. She is not a burden, but (laughs) it is really hard to get everything done with a three-and-a-half-year-old climbing on your lap. You know, I have two computer screens set up here, and I've joked, we have... She has a Kindle, she has an iPad, she ha- there are three televisions, smart TVs in the house. And she's here. And she is on my desk, sitting here watching YouTube at all times. Right now we've convinced her to go in the other room right now, but... Willingly. She, she willingly did it. She willingly did it. Or else she's running outside barefoot, in the mud escaping and into the mud and snow. So mm-hmm. it's been a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's looking out my back door mm-hmm. at my horse, my my head horse, my calf horse could care less. He hates mm-hmm. everyone, you know. Mm-hmm. But head horse, he and my roommate's goat have become best friends. Mm-hmm. So it's really funny to look at and see them chasing <laughs> each other around or they'll be napping next to each other. That's like my break time. I look out the window <laughs> and stare at my horse. It's it's entertaining it's wonderful <laughs> yeah so it's been it's been interesting for sure we've been getting lots of practice on the helomatic though here at our house lots of colt riding our rope horses are going to be in better shape than they've ever been because after i finish work for the day or give up because i can no longer balance motherhood and or the internet just is or terrible. the internet is too slow because everybody's on it i'm out jogging all the pastures on ponying my husband's head horse, riding my barrel horse. So I said, we aren't going to know what to do with our horses this in shape. And I hope everybody's that mm-hmm. way. I hope you're all exercising your horses and and surviving that way. Yeah, I'll be trailering over every mm-hmm. day. Be ready pasture. for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. not touching us. <laughs> or trail riding over. <laughs> yeah, because Caitlin lives just right over the hill. Like three so. miles, it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> so she can go ride her horses over. It'll be good shape. Yeah, I'm really excited about the time we've been spending together as a family. I know mm-hmm. that my little girl, um, she got on her horse last night, on her pony last night, and she was chasing the guys as they were chasing the <laughs> colt or chasing the helomatic. She was chasing them and had a blast. The pony was not impressed, but <laughs> but we had a lot of fun as a family. We've been eating dinner together every night, and I'm so grateful for that opportunity. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right, we've rambled on a little bit about how this is affecting us, but I want to tell you all what is going on as far as what we're doing for you. I feel like we have, as busy as we are trying to balance everything we have going on at home, we're really amping up all of our efforts to give you all some great content. Mm -hmm. So first, one of my favorite new things that we're doing is a bonus episode of this podcast. We're going to put them out as often as we can. I cannot Mm -hmm. make a promise on frequency um, because I'm relying on the ropers to get these to to us. record them and send them. (laughs) Um, The very first one came out yesterday with Larry D. Guy and Mm -hmm. it's a roping lesson. It's only five minutes long, but it's five minutes jam-packed with information that you can listen to while you ride your horses around, maybe while you're roping the dummy, um, if you're lucky enough to have steers at home while you're roping your steers. And anytime, you can listen to this, visualize what she's talking about, Mm -hmm. and put it into practice. It's so helpful. I've already gotten a bunch of emails about it. People loved it. And we've got more people on the line to do it. So, Mm -hmm. Larry D's definitely really big on the left hand. I remember when Mm -hmm. I lived down there that we worked on left hand a lot. Yeah, and she talks about how you use your feet with your Mm -hmm. left hand and how it affects how your horse, not just how he performs, but how his mental edge is and how how comfortable he is in the box, how Mm -hmm. comfortable he is throughout the run. I know just when I was riding my barrel horses, I was working on challenging myself to see if I could keep my hands in a 6 by 6 by 6 square. Mm -hmm. And that was... I needed to hear her say that because I needed to work on that. It was it was really valuable. Mm-hmm. 
So, um, so we'll have more of those coming. Um, I know I've, I've talked to quite a few horse trainers. Uh, Rich Skelton is working on his for this afternoon. Bert McGill from California, he's an awesome real horse maturity trainer. He's working on one. Junior said he would try to do one. Trey, we are, I, they're all coming, hopefully. Send them in. <laughs> yeah, guys, I know, Sp yeah, Spencer Mitchell, mm -hmm. Spank, I'm waiting for yours excitedly. Um, so we will stand by and wait for more of those. So, guys, I, I, I'm not going to make any promises, but we're going to try to trickle those out so you have something really concrete to work on. Mm-hmm. And another thing we're doing is the weekly roping practice challenges. Yes. Yeah. yeah we have good stuff coming. Yeah. I, I'm, I know Chelsea is too. I'm really grateful that these guys are just mm -hmm. jumping in to help us out, help them out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all just one big circle. But um, our first one came out yesterday. It came out a little late, but mm -hmm. Tyler Wade is our first week. Mm -hmm. um, he brought the challenges. I know yesterday was, you know, making sure your tack was mm -hmm. put together. Everything's clean. Everything, screws are tight, you know. I'll have to look at today's. I don't remember what Yeah, check them out. They're on teamropingjournal.com. We've got challenges for you um, to use this time, this very unique time in our history, to go back to the basics and mm -hmm. just improve. I know I saw a video that Hope Thompson did where she was quoting Dunneen Taylor, who's a mental performance coach, talking about opportunity and taking opportunity. There's no such thing as a slump. We could really find ourselves really depressed in a bummer, in a big bummer state, but right now this is an opportunity to, to get everything rolling. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, and, and I know we're going to have some more videos from Tyler. Tyler sent us some videos mm -hmm. um, of his, what he's doing in the practice pen right now. We'll have stories with, with guys that are getting futurity horses ready earlier than they've ever had time to work on futurity horses. So we'll talk about what they're doing, what kind of horses they're riding, all of that. And, um, I know I'm not the only parent working from home right now with my kids, mm -hmm. so my daughter and I are doing story time every day. Um, you can check out our Facebook group, Parents of Horse Crazy Kids, and we will have stories that we're reading to you with Elise's help <laughs> every day. Um, if you like it, yeah. like it. If you like it, like it, like she says. <laughs> It's a lot of fun, and she loves it, and I mean, I think my own kid's pretty cute, but I think everybody else does, too. Just saying. <laughs> so, anyway, we've got lots of stuff. We've got an essay that Roper, mm -hmm. that kids, if you've got school-age kids that can write, um, we want to get your kids' essays um, mm -hmm. and, and share them with the pros about who their favorite Roper is and why. So, check that out. Yeah, fun stuff coming. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, because I'm sure we'll try to be more creative as the weeks come. Mm -hmm. And if you um, if you want to check out USTRC.com, they will have and World Series TeamRoping.com, they will have all the updates for the associations. We don't have those yet. Every Tuesday they're gonna try to to launch those. It is Tuesday, but it's first thing Tuesday morning right now while we're recording this. So we don't have any new updates. But I know I know Yoast events um, and and the NTR down in Arizona have most of their stuff canceled at least for mm -hmm. ten days. Most of everything we've got is put on hold. But but the USTRC. Dot com is where all the official news is. All right, Caitlin, I figured we would give Matt Sherwood a call. He's the PRCA's team roping event rep, so he is the one talking to all the Cowboys, um, getting the word from the PRCA about what's going on um, in this really uncertain time. So let's talk to Sherwood and get kind of a vibe about what's going on out there in the professional rodeo cowboy world. Hey, Matt, what are you up to? I am just quarantined, so. Are you, like, medically quarantined or just self-quarantined like the uh, rest of us? Just staying pretty close to home. Yeah, but how is yep. this affecting you? Like, what? tell me about how you guys are getting by right now. Honestly, so far, this has affected me very little. I don't go to the gym. I don't do those kinds of things that I would normally do. Most of the jackpots that I would have went to have been canceled. A few of them weren't canceled that I didn't go to just because I didn't think very many people would go. I did. I wasn't planning on going anywhere in Texas anyway. So, you know, once they canceled Houston and Austin, I came home and I haven't, I haven't hardly left my house. Except I live about two miles from my arena, so I go back and forth from my home to my arena and I'm building a new house, which is right by my arena, so just every day I'm back and forth working on that. That's about all I do. So this downtime is giving you some time to figure out your horse situation, and it's probably giving your mare some time off. Is she, is she still going? 
she still go in time off? Does it like in the summer? If it was the dead of summer, it might have been like, hey, this is nice, give her two weeks off. But uh, the winter time's so easy on horses. Like I left her in Texas the whole time, so there was mm-hmm. no trailer miles, and we weren't roping enough, you know, to make any difference. So that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Her deal. I don't. I don't know if time off is her deal. It's just gotcha. It's just uh, you know getting older and a little bit sore. So I think that's how she's gonna be till. So we find something else. Gotcha. That's good. So, so I suppose that the time now is just an opportunity then to, to get some things lined out. Have you and Trey been roping much at the house? We haven't at all. No. He, he lives about four hours from me. And, oh, gotcha. You know, without, without anything going on, you know, there's no reason for me to go to the Phoenix area. I'm about, um, I'm on, he's on the, he's on the west side of Phoenix and I'm two and a half hours east side of Phoenix. So, we don't ever get together. I talked to him last night, and we talked, but we don't we don't get together in rope. Have you been hearing any fears from any of your constituents or concerns or, or anything from the guys that are open right now? What's yes, I've been hearing, you know, all that fear and the fact that we don't know how long it's going to last. Concern, you know, both those are the same kind of as far as what I've been hearing. No one knows what's, you know, people are, Tony called me and wanted to get some stuff approved for Reno. Uh, so they're they're planning on having Reno, uh, they're planning on having Diamond, but the reality of this is, no one knows. Yeah. No one knows if this is on the downswing or still on the upswing, or if this is going to last through the summer. I mean, no one, no one really knows, and knows how, and no one knows how it's going to be affect. If it does come back a little bit, what the fan base is going to be like, what you know. So there's just really no way of knowing what's going to happen until this is all over. Is there anything that you're, like, hanging your faith in or, or hanging your hat on right now or, or looking forward to or looking for hope in right now? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I really feel like, as I read things, I really feel like in some ways this is this is uniting people in a way that we kind of need it. You know, there's people doing good things and helping people out, and I really feel like that's that's going to help our country. It's going to help maybe unite a, a, a somewhat divided, if you will. And I'm, I'm not, I'm mm-hmm. not, a, I'm not a politician, or I don't know a lot about it except for what I read. But it seems like there's people stepping up and doing great things, sacrificing money and time and and services to try to to try to help prevent this. And I, and I don't, you know, this is a really confusing confusing thing to me because you know i'm sure everyone reads the same things the flu kills more people than this thing has killed other viruses in the past have killed way more than this thing has killed so so i don't know enough about it to know why all of a sudden we're treating this this virus like like the epidemic that it is when the other viruses that we've had in the past have have been so much more deadly up to this point you know and that's still really early on in it they really know, so yeah, yeah. It's it seems like it, there's there's a lot of uncertainty right now, but but like you said, I'm I'm leaning on what I read and hopefully what the hopefully we can just all do the right thing for a little while, like you said, and, and stay close to home and and enjoy our it's, families. It's so tricky though because for me, you know, I you know what rodeo life is like your income's unstable anyway so if you get a month off like i've been working on my house and i've been doing things and after houston and austin i wasn't going to go anywhere until Logandale anyway so i would have been hasn't changed my life that much so i don't realize the 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 impact that it's had on or is having on everyone else around the world if you will you know people can't go to work people can't do the things my wife's gym is shut down for two or three weeks now and I don't I don't know that you know restaurants are just people people that depend on money to come in every day it's not happening and and so for me I don't notice a big difference I I mm-hmm. if I want a soda I stop and grab a soda and I come out here and work mm-hmm. that's about the extent of what I would be doing whether it was a virus or not right now yeah but I know it's affected a lot of people's livelihoods to a point that hopefully they can bounce back from yeah, I know right now we are so far so good out here. Like I, I wrote a column about it here in rural America, but I, I know that, that that could sure change as, as this all trickles down economically. So hoping, fingers crossed, thinking about everybody for sure. It's a little uh, Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Well, thanks, Matt. That is what I needed today. I appreciate you letting me call you out of the blue on this. <laughs> call me. I've had a lot of people like, hey, you know, how, how long is this going to last? How many rodeos are canceled? And ask me questions. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know more than you know. It's not the PRCA cancel them. It's the you know it's the state and the committee. So yeah, I don't know nothing. Yeah, that's how we are with with the World Series and U.S. Opens. Um, it's it's up to the contractors and the communities. So so we're just hoping everybody stays healthy and that everything kicks back up real soon. Yep. All right, Matt. Have a great day. Stay that's safe. It. All right. Bye. Okay, everybody, thank you all so much for listening to our short score today. If you are a podcast junkie, stick around. We've got all kinds of stuff coming for you this week, like we said. Lots of roping tips, as many as we can get from these guys, so you have something to work on while you are at home, staying safe, social distancing, quarantining, and being healthy. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.